If you're like me and you started your editing with Adobe Premiere Pro and you've been using Adobe Premiere Pro for a very long time, it is kind of very difficult to switch from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve for one major reason. The interface is not the same at all. There are slight similarities here and there, yeah? But it's not like other editing softwares like Final Core Pro that you see very, very familiar things that you can easily just relate to it and whatnot. And not that DaVinci Resolve is completely complex, but that switch is not really that easy. So it can be very confusing and it can be very tiring, right? So the question we are answering today is, should you switch from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve? Quickly do something for me. Click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and join this creative journey with me. Let's learn together. As I learn, you learn, and we all grow. Okay? So do that right away, and let's get into the video. For me, I actually did not switch, because I really did not see the need to switch from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve, because both softwares can actually serve me different purposes and work together to give me what I want easily. So what I decided to do for myself is I still do my editing in Adobe Premiere Pro because I'm very used to Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm used to the interface. I'm used to all of the tools and how, how to use them. I can easily just enter anywhere in Adobe Premiere Pro and work, right? But I don't have that in-depth knowledge editing with DaVinci Resolve. The depth of knowledge I have with DaVinci Resolve is with color grading. And so what I do is simple. I do all of my editing, my cutting and assembling of shorts in Adobe Premiere Pro. I export it as a Final Cut extended file, then open the extended file in DaVinci Resolve, and my entire timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro appears in DaVinci Resolve. Then I color grade it, export it as a Premiere Pro extension file, return back to Premiere Pro, and finish my editing. That sounds a little stressful, but trust me, it is actually not really stressful. I don't think it is. It's not stressed me so far. So if you're caught between deciding whether you should switch from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve, and what you basically want to use DaVinci Resolve to do is color grading. You can as well just stick to your Adobe Premiere Pro and use DaVinci Resolve for your grading. We'll let the two softwares work together interchangeably to achieve the result that you want. You don't have to switch unless you just want to leave Adobe Premiere Pro and start editing, doing all of your edits in DaVinci Resolve. I think I'm going to do that soon too, because I'm pushing buttons here and there already in DaVinci Resolve so I can leave Adobe Premiere Pro. Don't ask me why. Adobe Premiere Pro has been breaking my heart in recent times. I can't tell you the full story here. It's emotional, but I might leave soon. Someday soon, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a video. Until the next video, don't forget to continue to learn, create, until you become.